Tonight, ABC 7 is kicking off a new effort to expose waste of your tax dollars and challenge questionable government decision making. Our new ABC 7 watchdog team aims to do just that throughout our region. And tonight, we learned a traffic camera in Prince George's County is collecting thousands of dollars and it may be breaking the law. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell live in Morningside tonight with his eye opening investigation. Brad. Well, Leon, since the state of Maryland approved the use of these speed cameras in school zones a few years ago, their use has exploded. Now some 50 municipalities across the state are using them. But there are rules about how and where they should be set up and how they are operated. And tonight, a local activist is questioning whether or not the town of Morningside is following all the rules with their cameras. Speed cameras work. We watched hundreds of cars slow down for the photo trap here in Morningside. Resident Patrick Davis Jr. says that's a good thing. Pretty convenient knowing that people aren't going to be speeding here with a young son. Speed cameras also make money. Morningside, a town of about 2,000 with a budget of $1.7 million, reported to the state that its cameras collected nearly $500,000 for the fiscal year, which ended in June. But tonight, there are allegations that the system itself, like the speeders at tickets, may be breaking the law. Ron Ely is with the Maryland Drivers Alliance. If you have a situation where, uh, they're, yeah, they're supposed to do it right, but they're not doing it. Under Maryland law, cameras can only be operated in school zones established by the entity which owns the road. That is Prince George's County. And though Morningside put up signs so that they could install cameras, the county never designated a school zone. In fact, According to documents obtained by ABC7, when Morningside wrote the county in 2011 saying it is our intent to move forward with our program, the county replied in writing two months later by saying permission to install the speed monitoring devices along this roadway cannot be approved. They basically said we're doing it anyways. Ely is also now suing Morningside for release of documents that prove the cameras are being properly calibrated and set up each day. So far, the town has denied his written requests. One would assume that if everything were in order, they'd produce the documents. In the meantime, the system continues to operate, catching speeders and their cash. As a driver, I understand that safety is always an issue, but to me, it seems like it's a revenue grab. Now, I've made a number of phone calls here to the government in Morningside. No one has returned my calls, my calls seeking comment. Now, earlier this year, Prince George's County shut down the speed camera system in another municipality because all of the rules were not being followed. But just in the last half hour or so, we got word from the county that they'll be taking no action here. They say simply too much time has passed and this system will be grandfathered in. In Morningside, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Okay, Brad, thank you. Now, if you see tax dollar waste or some questionable government activity in your community, please contact our new ABC 7 watchdog team. You can send us an email at watchdogtips at wjla.com. We're going to bring you these stories on our newscasts and also on wjla.com.